welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia Bella. If you are new, welcome. It is so nice to meet you. For all my returning subscribers, hello my beautiful friends. How are you doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm so excited because today, we are doing a get ready with me makeup routine. This is the one that I do every day when I go live on Instagram and it's the one that most people have requested. Before we get started, I do wanna say, um, have you guys noticed the quality? Does something look different? Oh, it's because I'm using my new camera. Like I'm looking at myself and I'm just like, yeah, let's go up here. Like I'm like, okay, it's, I'm loving this. So if you wanna get ready with me, go ahead, grab your makeup, and let's get started. So to start off, I'm going to be getting my bunny ear headband. I got this headband at a, like an Asian store here in Las Vegas. I'm not sure what the store is, but I know that they sell these at Target, so you can definitely get these little headbands. I'm not a big fan of this one, particularly, partic particularly because it's like a wrap. So like now I have bunny ears, like, you know, but it's kind of uncomfortable and I would rather just get like a headband one because you can see like the struggle I'm going through. Oh, oh my goodness. Ugh. Oh, let's see, we'll go like, how's that? Okay, she look cute. So before I do anything, I put on my contacts. Oh my gosh. First things first, I go ahead and I start off with my CeraVe moisturizer. I use this every single day on my face just so I can get that prep. I don't use a primer. I basically use this as the primer. I just get a little bit on my hands and I'll work that in my face. I don't I don't like to use a little bit. I like to make sure my face is really moisturized. So I put it all over. Ooh. Make sure every inch and I really focus it under my eyes just because this is where I wear the most makeup. So I wanna make sure that that is super hydrated and prepped and ready. I'm going to start by applying my foundation. I do do this most different than most people, so I do start with my foundation and then I'll add my concealer. So starting off, I go in with my Beauty Blender. This is just the Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the Dewy Smooth and it is in the shade 118, which is a light beige. So my technique of applying the foundation is I get a little bit on my middle finger and then I'll dab that all over my face, uh, making little dots. Tatita! Oh my gosh. She's gonna be in the background. And then I'll go in and blend it with my beauty blender. I'm pretty sure this is not how you're supposed to apply your foundation, but I'm pretty sure y'all have seen the girl on TikTok that literally goes like this and then does it with her fingers. So everybody can put on their makeup however they want. Whatever works for you is the best way to do it. Today I'm going for like a natural look, so I'm not gonna do like a lot. I just want it to not look like so she wearing makeup today. You know, I don't I don't want that look. Up next is the found. I already said that. Up next is the concealer. So for my concealer, I am using the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer in the shade 005. I remember before, I don't even remember the concealer I used to use, but I had been in search of a concealer because I always have problems with my under eyes being way too dark. So I started using this concealer and I love it. My technique that I use to apply my concealer is I only apply a little bit right here in the like, in the corner front and then I'll put some on the outside to kind of give it that lift. I learned this from TikTok, so. I tried this technique once I saw it the first time and ever since then I'm just like, I love it, it works for me. And then with my Beauty Blender, I'll go in with the little pointy side and just blend that in. I think that looks pretty good. Some days, I no matter how much concealer I put, the dark circles won't go away, but today's a pretty good day. I got some good sleep last night, so dark circles don't even exist today. I mean, they are there, but they're not as bad. Next is the fun part. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and it is in the shade 10 Fair Light. All right, so what I do is I get my Beauty Blender, and I'll just like dab it. I don't like to swipe it in there. I kind of just like to, and then I will go in and very lightly, very lightly, or you will rub off all your concealer. Very lightly swipe, and I'll add that lighting, that light powder under my eyes. Boom. And then I'll go into the other eye and do the same. And I do try to bring it up towards like the bridge of my nose, just like that. This is where I start baking. And then I'll put some on the outside, like that. And then that's pretty much it. Sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll just put some right here for fun. 
So I just realized that I forgot my blush. I usually use this Milk Makeup product, which is a lip and cheek cream. I wouldn't call it a blush because it's not a blush, but you can use it on your lips and cheeks. And it is in the shade Work. And usually, I mean, I can... No, I'm not even going to try it. I'll put it on my nose because I already put, like... You know what? I'm still going to put it. Whatever. So I put it on my cheeks. I don't really mind that it's kind of going over this powder part because I put blush there anyways. So I'll go in with my beauty blender and I'll just blend that out. Make sure you don't leave it too red. You don't want to look like a clown. I mean, that would be really cute though, but can't be looking like a clown every day. Now, the next part is eyebrows. This is honestly the only part that takes me the longest. I don't know why it takes me so long for my eyebrows. I use the same product always, but I'm today I'm trying a different color just because I did get my eyebrows laminated which if you saw in my vlogmas day 22 i went and got my lashes done and i got my eyebrows laminated i just remembered i actually am going to go in with my wax i started using this because i got my eyebrows laminated this is a elf wax stick so with this one i literally will go lightly so 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 lightly in my eyebrows and barely add any product because i'm really just trying to tame them and shape them so those are the brows. For today, I will be going in with my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, the lighter shade, and this is the gel and powder duo. I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil, but I just decided that this one worked just as well. This is like my favorite product ever. I also use the brush that comes with the palette. So I always go in and start with the gel side, and this is the part where I'll shape my brows, and then I always set it with the powder. You can see that this eyebrow is kind of like more mad, so I'm going to fix that eyebrow. But as you can see, it looks mad, so I'm going to like fix it. So they look like, at least like, like cousins. If they aren't going to be twins, at least they can be cousins. I think that looks fantastic. Then I'll just go in and brush my brows, make sure they're nice and set, because they still look, they're looking a little rough right now. So just give me a moment, we'll fix it. As I say with my eyebrows, so aggressive. So next I'm going to go in and clean up my brows. Now I don't want to use concealer to clean it up because I don't like how thick concealer is. So I'm going to go in with my foundation that I used earlier and I'm just going to swipe that under the brow bone and along the tail to get it nice and clean and sharp. And then next I'm just going to get my beauty blender. I'll lightly dab that foundation I just applied so it can go smoothly. It can look smooth. Perfect. Okay, all right, so up next, I'm going to just set the whole face with powder. We're going to powder me up. Now, before, I was using a darker shade with, other than the one that I'm using under my eyes right now. However, I am too light for that shade, so I have to use the same shade that goes under my eyes all over my face and kind of contour to add that darkness because if I use another shade to do my whole face then you could see like that line and it just it doesn't look good so I'm just gonna go in with that same loose powder from earlier and I'm going to just loosely finish off my face sometimes I like to get the powder on the actual like lid and that's what I'll use for my entire face just because it's already a little bit on there and I'll have to worry about it like going everywhere and I'll just like blend that in and I'll also at the same time kind of wipe away the powder that I was baking and it's like to lightly set it I don't want it to look like I'm wearing powder I really want that light effortless look and don't forget your neck bam all right so up next is the contour i cannot think of that name so the contour that i'm using is the medium stay all day contouring bronzer for face and body by stila and fun fact my very first makeup brand that i actually ever owned was Stila. It was a Stila makeup palette and it had everything. It had the contour, the blush, it had the lipsticks and the eyeshadows all in one. It was my first palette that I ever got like in my life. <laughs> so all I'm gonna do is go in with a angled brush. This is not anything fancy. It actually got stained with lipstick right there. Um, so that's why it's that color there. I don't even know what brand this is. I think I got it like as a gift, like in a gift set. And I love it for contouring. It's really fluffy and it picks up color really nicely. So I'm gonna move this behind my ears 
So I'm sorry my ears are gonna look a little weird right now. <laughs> Okay, so I'll go in with my contour and I'm just gonna get a little bit on the brush, tap it, and contour. And I like to contour, so I'm going to put it all over in that area and then I'm gonna get some up here. Oh my gosh, my ears look so funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> I look like an elf. <gasps> the headband made my hair red, okay. So the way that I do it is I always start out here and blend down and up. I never like start here or up here. I always start right here because I feel like this is the darkest part of your face and that's the best part to like put the most product and then kind of just blend it out. See, it looks a little crazy, but I'll fix that. Get it going. And then I like to add the bronzer or contour to my nose, like right on the nose, just like this. But this really adds like all the dimension to my face. Like you can see like now, you can see like the, oh, she got a nose poking out. Oh, she got some cheeks. All right, all right. I forgot to do my Australian accent. Oh, she looking good, mate. <laughs> all right, how's that? Looking good? I don't know, I know I look bronze though. Now for blush, I am using, again, I don't know what the name of these brushes are. You can tell it's a different brush. And I think this brush is so cute. Like it's like pointy and it's all gold. So if you look at it, it's like an angled brush and it's actually really stiff. So it's not like the other one that was like fluffy. This one is like a stiff brush. So I really like to use this kind of blush, brush for my blush. I like to use this brush for my blush because I really, I'm a pigmented person, so I need like that pink, pink, pink blush. You know what I'm saying? All right, so the blush that I'm using is the Milani Delicioso Pink. I'm not sure if they sell this in stores. I was actually looking for it the other day and I could not find it, not even on the website. So I'm gonna keep using it and this is why they call it Delicioso because as soon as you put this on, Somebody's gonna look at you and they're gonna be like, oh, she looking delicioso right now. And then I do add it to my nose. I really like to be pink. I don't know why. I'll add it to my chin. I'll just get like the corner and I'll add it like to my eyes, my, eye, my eyelid. And now we look good. Like we're a little bit pink, but I'll fix that. Let me tone it down. Just wait a second. All right, so now with that fluffy brush that I used for my powder, I just go in and I'm gonna blend that out. Like powder that up, powder that up, blend the side, blend the side, and boom. Everything's nice and blended. And yes, I'm not wearing eyeshadow today. I don't usually wear eyeshadow because I have my eyelash extensions. So I don't really feel the need to because I feel like the eyelash extensions already are it. And if I'm going out, then I'll wear eyeshadow. But like every day, I just put a little bit of blush and call it a day. And let me cover my ears because they're Kind of weird now. Last but not least, we are going to do the highlights. Since I was, <laughs> I thought it was loose, so I was shaking it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. It is the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. So I'm gonna go in with the Moonstone. Moonstone is my favorite. It always runs out first, and then I start using this one. But this is my favorite one because it's pinky, so it kind of blends in with my blush. So I'm using very odd. I know people do not use this kind of brush for highlight, but I like it because it's another stiff one, so the application is really pigmented. So I'll be using this, and I only use half, and then I really go like cheek and up. Like, yes, girl. She's, she is gonna glow today. And then I'll add it to my nose. Now, like I said, if it's ever too pigmented, I just go over it with like something else. And then I'll go in with a pencil brush and that same highlight, I'll just go on my inner corners, like where my tear duct is, and I'll just apply that so it can glow. You can shine bright like a diamond. Like a moonstone, actually. That's the name of this shade. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna show you guys something, and I'm actually gonna ask you for help. So if you know why this is happening, please comment down below and let me know. Every day when I do my makeup, for whatever reason, I get this straight line of no makeup. Do you see that? And today it kind of happened on this side. But, like, I'm not sure what happens because nothing rubs up against it. It just doesn't want to keep it. It's like something I just deal with. I'm like, oh, I have a line and it is going to stay there because I'm not going to take off all my makeup and redo it just to fix it. So, like I said, if I feel like it's too glowy, which I kind of do feel like I went a little overboard with the shine, I'll just go in and I'll actually put some blush right on top of it, just depending what I feel like I'm lacking. That's it. I look really shiny. I promise I'm not that shiny in person. 
or maybe it, I am that shiny. It's a new palette, so maybe I underestimated the glow. <laughs> Last but not least, because I do have two more steps, I have to put on my lipstick. This is actually the whole reason why I did a makeup routine, because people have asked me what my lipstick is. That's like the number one question. So I'm gonna show you my signature lipstick. So this lipstick is the Flower Beauty, my favorite. I love it. I'm actually out of it. I keep forgetting to buy more. I think I'm gonna order it today. I'm gonna remind myself, order it today. I use this lipstick every single day. It's my favorite. It's actually a lip duo. It's called Mix and Matte. It is a matte lipstick, but it's not like drying matte. It's very creamy and it gives you that matte look, but it doesn't dry out your lips. I love it. And then if you don't feel like, if you're not a big fan of the matte look, but you like the color, it also comes with this lip gloss side so you can make it shiny. So this is how I always apply it. Now, I'm not a lip liner person, so what I do is I get a lip brush, and I'll just get a little bit of that product, and I'll paint it right on. And that's it. It's pink, but it's like purpley, and it still has that natural nude lip color. I love it. Last thing, we have made it to the end, so the last thing I am going to do is set this face with setting spray. The setting spray that I am gonna be using is one of my favorites. This one lasts for a really long time. It is the Milani Make It Last 16 Hour Wear Setting Spray. I'm good with that, so I'll just I spray it all over my face. I make sure to focus it around my eyes because like I said, I always have the problem with my concealer and my under eyes. So I like to just really focus the spray in that area because that's what needs to last like all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off now. And she is already, oh yes. This is the makeup that I do every day on my morning lives. So if you are not following me on my Instagram, make sure you go follow me every single morning. I go live and I get ready with you guys. I also take you on the adventure of going to work. So we'll buy breakfast together, we'll drive together. But yeah, like this is the finished look. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. It was really fun doing like a get ready with me and just showing you guys in detail what I do. I never really have time in the mornings to like, explain everything so I'm glad we finally have something here where you guys can really see everything how it's done you know what I forgot to do I forgot to brush my eyelashes I am so thirsty today's water bottle let me drink some water So today's water bottle is a Bad Bunny water bottle. This was made by, designed by Perla. So if you are interested in this specific milk carton water bottle, um, I will actually link it down below in the description box so you guys can get yourself a matching Bad Bunny water bottle just like mine all right everybody so that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you are new to my channel please make sure you subscribe like this video and turn on that notification bell so you can get notifications every time i post a video i do have a lot of content coming out for you guys so make sure you stay tuned for that don't forget to also follow me on my instagram so you can join the morning live and see this look recreated every day you can also talk to me there i do reply to all the comments so so make sure you join me on Instagram and also don't forget to follow me on my TikTok. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.